We're back. Fish and Corn here. We have uh, sponsor LaCroix. <laughs> LaCroix. Good sponsor. Yeah, it's Christian good LaCroix. Sponsor. What if, you know, in a wild thing, there's a... Um, what's the guy? Christian LaCroix. He's like a watcher of the show. <laughs> I like these guys in San Diego. Yeah. Didn't my muse. <laughs> you, know, you know how these... Do you normally use the word muse? Like, do lawyers Have use I the used word, it? In, yeah. Oh, he, that, this is my muse of a case. Or this, no, this is not that no, word. No, no, no. Number one, oh. I'm not the type of person to use the ty- that word in vernacular. Um, and even in, you know... It's just in, like, a discussion like this that comes up. Because I don't use muse, right. too. Because it'd be, like... It's a bit pretentious. Yes. Uh, and you look silly. Yeah, unless you're talking particular things like art or whatever, it, it seems a little contrived yeah. to be talking about a muse. I know, it's... Uh. I mean, I understand what the concept of a muse is. I I've know. had many muses, you know, but yeah, it, that was it's not something that I obsess over. It's a Anais Nin shit, you know. Yeah. Oh, my muse. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> loving the time. Of co- that's the thing. Oh, fixated on some piece of ass sure that word well, muse that. kind of but goes into actually that. i mean i like the idea of a muse more as a as a catalyst for things and thinking for for instance nowadays when i think of a muse in my head my you know what mine is, is my garden mine's a li- mine is that you know is to revisit certain things i used to do yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah. you know but it's or the boat. I mean, yeah, you were obsessed work. when you were on that boat. You, you were always doing something to the boat. But that's the thing, though. Doing something to do. You know? D- that's the thing. It would be nice to work. That's that you're know, talking about a muse to work hard and to get be able to get into that lifestyle again or the garden again. Yeah. I mean, what kind oh, of gardening is it that you want? Because oh, being in gardens, we went to this bonsai tree in one of the fucking goddamn castles. Uh huh. Yeah, talk about gardening. That's some gardening I can't get into because of the price point. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, so many yeah, yeah. I'm so, talking. You, we go to the Del Mar Fair. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and we see some old, big things. They're just big, whatever. And maybe old. Right. Dude, in Japan, there's some of these things that, like, that came with the castle. <laughs> came with the castle, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like a bonsai tree like that. Yeah, the size of that tree, yeah. I've seen them. I've seen pictures and so on. I mean, look. I mean, the real deal. The, the, I saw them. The point is, for me, gardening isn't so much that. That for me, gardening is it's more like ponds and shit. Well, you know what it is. Did you ever, as a kid, play in a sandbox? Yeah. Make little cities, little dioramas, that kind of thing. As a kid, I remember <laughs> building these elaborate earthworks. French works, where I would stage these long, bloody battles between two entrenched forces, right? I did that too, but you know what I also would, was better to me as a, I used it as a commodity because I used to mine it for clay, uh-huh. and I used to make these fun sticks from the tree. I make these like 18 inch doo-doos, <laughs> and we got busted at Roar School uh-huh. by putting one in the toilet, <laughs> and all the boys were going, you gotta check this shit. And she started getting nervous because everybody think it's funny. You know, we're talking like second grade boys. Uh-huh. I got sent to the principal. <laughs> Me and, you know, another uh-huh. friend yeah, I yeah. grew up with. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Then we, or we drag a magnet and getting the, you know what I mean? We're getting the, the black ore shit uh-huh. or magnetic yeah. that would attract to the, uh, right. you know. You're looking for the, the iron flakes. And stuff. The iron flakes. Yeah, no, I've done, no, but the, the point is, for me, it, Gardening was all about playing in the dirt and making something out of the dirt. And it, it, I developed stories around it. And it's like each little patch of grass or every little patch of flowers has a story behind it in that narrative that interacts with the other narrative of the rest of the yeah. garden. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't need the houses or the huts, but just to run one of those garden G-scale uh, model trains through your uh, garden... Do you, does that uh, seem like a possibility? Would you like the idea of a train? Or that doesn't fancy you either? Well, see, I like the idea of a train. Moolah. Except it doesn't 
fit into the aesthetic that I go for. Mm -hmm. These trains are huge. Here's the problem. And they can take it. Here's the problem. You have to, in my head, when you build a garden, when you're going towards a something that you are, you know, it's just an extension of nature and the less work that you have to put into it to make it look nice, the better. Anything that's basically a scaled down cityscape that requires maintenance, it requires cleanup, it requires, you know, if you notice a lot of my garden stuff, like my ponds and my, my fern gardens and all that shit, if I don't do anything to them, they get overgrown, but that's about it. No, that's about anything. You need maintenance. <laughs> Not in, Only a few things I've seen in life would that, you know, would withstand no maintenance and last forever. Well, but I've seen some of them that look pretty epic if they were left alone. I mean, if you think about the, 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 the field of uh, that's behind the Getty Museum... Yeah, or the even succulents parts of the, that they have back there, or the San Diego Zoo overgrown. Have to do anything to that if you just leave it alone? It, yeah, it'll get overgrown, but you it'll know, still be beautiful. beautiful. The Huntington Library Gardens yeah. overgrown would be kind just, of epic. Just like, let whoa. it go. Yes, this thing exactly. where you can like you know you play like high karate and like no, you would chase point. each other and get a you know. But that's the point. If that thing were just to blow up, oh my god, that's insane. You know, and that's the point. Is just make a cacophony of plants and rocks and water and stuff that will make you think mm -hmm. you're somewhere else for a minute. Do you think there because you had two um, ponds now? Uh -huh. You haven't really had any big, in the sense of plants, new additions, have you for several years? Yeah. No new trees that are sizable. Do you think you ever this will this property will ever see sizable plants? Like another tree, like, I, I don't know. Uh, mm, see, no, not that you grow up with and you're like 90 and there's like a new plant. You mean install a new plant? No, like no, you'd no. go out there and buy like a $500 tree. Oh, God, no. No. <laughs> so I'm not the type to buy, buy a $500 a tree. tree. Yeah. I mean, I'll buy a live tree and I'll plant a live tree, but it'll be a sapling. It'll be something like that. I mean, you've seen the trees we've got. I, most of those trees we grew from seed. But those were from a nut. These are years. You know, the they're pretty big trees. Tree out there that was from a nut. Uh, from nuts. The what do you call it? almond tree out there <clears throat> from nuts. The pecan tree from nuts. The avocado tree that I have in TJ. The mango tree. All of that from seeds. That's awesome that you did it by that. I mean, the only thing we didn't uh, do is the the pistachio tree that's out there. That was, you know, the, that was a bot tree. Mm. So, so how much longer for the 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 pond to be done? Thank God. <laughs> yeah, we got to get the dog to stop jumping in and tearing shit up. She really likes swimming in it. Mm. <laughs> Are the fish alive though? They go and hide. Oh yeah, I mean it's not a big deal to the fish. It's just a big deal to you know growing stuff and getting the rocks oh. in place and all that shit. Because as soon as I get it looking nice, she goes in there and trashes it. Oh, what is your your thoughts? Just live with it, fix it, live with it, fix it. Sooner or later, she'll get tired of tearing shit up. She's a puppy. Okay. I can't get bent out of shape too much. And you're not going to put some fence around it because no, I'm done. No, because it'll look all shitty. So what's the point? You know, it's, it's the uncaring hand of God. And if I never get it done, I never got it done. You know? Can't get bent out, bent out of shape. It's crazy. But At the end of the day, I agreed to have that dog. I can't complain about her tearing shit up. No, nah, you can't with the dog. You can't. Anyways. So both the kids are in school? Yep. Back to the... Back to the grind. Back to being... Oh my god, is that the leaf on Main Street? That flagpole? Yep. That, that's them? Yep. Have you been there lately? Uh, the last time I was there was a... Beginning of summer. Buy anything? Yeah. A couple of those class bars for the uh, scaffolding that we had at the hangar. Really? Yeah. Because now it's part of the uh, water tower thing that I've got at the property in the PJ. Oh, that's 
me. Ah, oh, telling you that time goes by quick from that point. Yeah, it did. Because we're um, just to let you know. Oh shit, I was blocking you. Sorry about your airtime. <laughs> like I give a fuck. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, time flies, dude. I mean, you know, we've been doing this show for you guys. For years. For yeah, three years. And there were there was supposed to be uh, the the Spaniard or uh, what was his name? The Spaniard. Yeah, Spaniard. <laughs> yeah, the. Then you work with that cat. Yeah, I work with him. He still, I, I still text with him here and there. He, he said, "What's up?" Like you know, when I'm in uh-huh. vacation somewhere cool, he'll say, "Wow, that's kind of cool," or whatever. So, but uh, yeah, that's well, where the the show started. Was, how often you gotta go to Japan? Man? Uh, well, we don't know if that's good, but it'd be nice to go twice a year. Twice a year. If family's there, yeah. So long as you got family out there, it makes sense to go out there. Cause they're only gonna be. That's what I want to ask you about. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. You're you're always better off spending the money. Spending the money, visit visit as often as possible while they're alive. Because then, when you make enough money, then you say, "Oh, where we have money now, and they're not around." Right. So that's something that you believe, corn, as as and then worry about getting the money later. Spend it while you got it. Really. You're going to die, okay? Because I use credit to go there. You're all going to die, okay? That's true. The best the best thing you can do is die mm-hmm. in debt. And get those experiences. <laughs> exactly. Get as many experiences as possible. Share as many experiences with your friends and family. And don't worry about it. Because you know what? At the end of the day, Bill Gates and you, you're the same. Yeah. You're still worm food. Same in the same boat. And uh, I was going to tell you, and it's, of course, don't go crazy with the silly shit. You know, you know what? Who cares? It's all on you. But I'm, I'm talking about like buying too much shoes or something like that. It, it, Look, at the end of the day, you're responsible for yourself, okay? If you think you can handle buying a ton of shoes... Knock yourself out. And if you fail, oh well. Yeah. I mean, I personally don't do it because I know me. Okay? And... That's what I'm saying. I know myself too. I'm not going to buy shoes. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> I've been using these. I even used uh, that shoe goo underneath and yeah. I salvaged it. Yeah. I'll, I, will, I will literally wear holes in my shoes before I throw them away. I, I've always been that that way. And I've always kept Sometimes my I will shoes. replace the soles. <laughs> Those boots I got, you can replace soles. It's That's not my point, man. I mean, the, you, my danners. Th- there is no point in buying certain things more than once. Corn, we got to leave these guys. I know you're. Uh, well, we'll be back. Kill it.